Hello everyone, in this lesson I'm going to go over uh, one of the ways we can graph uh, trigonometric functions using our phase shift, vertical shift, amplitude change. So for example, up top here I put your, our general form for graphing these trigonometric functions uh, with phase shifts and so on. Now I use sine just because as a general term. It could be tangent, it could be sine, cosine, etc. And this form allows us to look and determine all the important things we need, such as our phase shift, our W to help us, help us determine period, our amplitude, and then and I'll run, out, run out of a little bit of room with our vertical shift as well. So let's look at this example. Now you notice the difference between this one and the, and the, general, the general example I gave. The coefficient of this x is 1, whereas right now it's not. So to make things simple, what I would recommend is factor out a co the coefficient of x if it's not already 1. So in this case, I'll make it 3 sine of 2 x minus pi over 4 now. Minus 4. And I did this because now it allows us to quickly identify all the important parts. For example, now we look here to find our phase shift, which is pi over 4 not pi over 2. Of course we know our vertical shift here is a negative 4 or 4 down. This tells us our W. Of course we have our amplitude of 3. And to change our to find our new period, remember, remember since we're using sine it has a period of 2 pi we use this setup 2 pi over W which in this case means 2 pi over 2 so my new period is so we have all the important parts now. Now if we want to graph it, first of all, let's take a look at what our general function should look like. Basically, since we have sine, our basic function of course looks like this, it has a domain from 0 to 2 pi. We're going to use that kind of as our model, so a place we can base it off of. So when I go over here and graph it, normally my graph would look like this. But now I'm going to adjust that. So first of all, let's find our parameters. Amplitude of 3, vertical shift of 4. So normally that would mean if here's 3 and here's negative 3, that would be our normal period. Now we have to adjust that for our vertical shift. So I'm going to move it down 4 units. So my new values are going to be from negative 1 to negative 7. Now we have to consider our phase shift, which we said was pi over 4. So again, normally we start at, pi, at 0, as you can see. And since it's a, let me go back, remember since it's subtraction here, phase shifts or horizontal shifts have that reverse relationship. So when it's minus, it means we're actually moving to the right pi over 4. So if this is pi, the way I've broken this down here on my, my little graph, if this is pi, I actually have uh, broken down to uh, four parts. So we can say pi over 4 is right there. So that's where my graph is going to begin. So right about there is my starting point. So my point, let me readjust here, it's going to be from pi over 4, and then right here at negative 4. So this is where I start. Now again, normally we would go 2 pi, but since we have our new defined period of pi, I'm only going to go that far to the right. 
So we could do it um, mathematically. We could say if pi over 4 is where I started, if I go pi to the right, I'm adding pi to this. And then we can turn it into adding fractions. I'll think of it as pi over 1. Find a common denominator of 4. So what I'm really adding is pi over 4. Plus 4 pi over 4. So my new, or I should say, if I'm going one period, I'm ending that first period at 5 pi over 4. Which will say is right here. So now we know to make our graph go up to negative 1, down to negative 7. Since there's no reflection, we can do the same orientation. And there we go. So this is our new modified graph.